Assalamu alaikum friends, welcome back to the channel, Yun Sharfayou is here and always in the series about Kotlin for beginners, we are going to learn about the keywords inline, non-align and cross-align in Kotlin. Let's get started. So let's say I'm having an example here, let's say that I'm having a print, print statements all over the places, I have this function called call action, I will give her a reaction right here and then what it will do, it will just call it. and we have this print, print after and before and something here. This is a lambda, right? You can do whatever you want, I'm just printing something, all right? If you run this, it will simply print all four statements before something, something else, and that. Now, what will happen under the hood is that, let me just show you, go to Kotlin and show bytecode, and here does the compile. What will happen is that this call action will create just a function, function which is just a function of this interface, right? A function. And within that function, it will create it from here and pass it. Okay, and then you just invoke this function. Now there is a cost here, which is a memory cost, because, because you are creating this function, we are creating this object in order to wrap it with this one. These two prints are inside this function, the created function, right? Because it is an object created that contains this two print statement, the something and something else. It is not shown here, I don't know why. Usually it is shown here, I don't know why. Just to keep with the example, it will create a function object, and with this, function object, it will pass it to call action and it will execute. Now, as I said, this will create an extra object in the memory, so we won't be doing that. Something to do here is that I want this with the first keyword that we will show, I want this to not create that, this object. So what we can do is that we want to use these two lines simply like that. So I want the output of my code to be like that. So we are trying to inline the code of this function to the main, it will be the main function here, it will be this one, then this one, then this one, then this one, in the code, not in the behavior. So what you can do here simply is to align it. And if you run it, it will be just the same thing. And if you go to the Kotlin decompile and decompile here, you will see that there is no created function. As you can see, there is a function here called function, there is called this action, we are not calling it, but the main is doing like the following. It is printing the var one, which is the before, and the something and something else and the var zero. So this is the output of the code for the airline. So it will align the body of this lambda to the code, to the main function that are calling. The result will be something like that. So the airline will allow you to do that. Now there is a cost if you have like a big method here. Let's say that this call to action is a big, it contains like a lot of code. And you are inlining this call, you are calling this action into many places. So the result will be a long code, so it will be a long code. So there is a cost of this airline, so you have to pay attention when using it. Now, let's say here in the same example, I want to add another action. Let's call it another action, and it will be just like the following. And I will be calling it another time, another action. Let me just do that. And here I will have to wrap it like the following. This is the first one, like that, and I will add the second one and it will print second action. Ma'am, just run it, it will print this one, this one, this one, this one, and finally this one. Now, if you see this is an align function, it will align everything, okay? So it will align this and this too. If you go always to the decompiled code here, decompile it, as you can see, let me just check, we have two functions, so we're creating two functions, but we are aligning everything. But let's say I want to exclude the first one, I want this one to be aligned, and the second one not to be aligned. What you can do here simply is call no inline, like that. And if you run it, it will be just the same thing, but if you see the code, now here is the code of the previous one, if I just decompile it another time, I will see something different. So as you can see here, the action we are calling it is second action, the second action is not shown here, okay? It is in the other action, and we are calling this other function here. So we are not aligning the other action or another action. So under some circumstances, you may be aligning functions and excluding others. So that's the way on how to align. Perhaps the first one will be simple, it will be short, and the second one will be bigger. So you won't be aligning that because it will cause some performance issues. So just to know that you have these options of non-aligning function and aligning functions. Let me just delete that inline keyword to show you something. Let's say that here I want to return. If you want to return just like that, you can't return like that only because this means you are returning from the function of the main. But here you are returning from call to action. So under some circumstances you are returning here, call action. And here, for example, you can also return no problem. Now this one called non-local return. But under some circumstances, I want to return the function inline. So I want to return here and stop executing. 
You can do that because this function is not in line. So what you can do is just to align it like that. Now this, when you type the inline keyword here, it will allow you to return here. What does it mean? You can do the, also the same thing here. If you run it, it will start the something, this one and this one, and it will stop directly. Why? Because we return. The return is affecting the whole function. If you see the decompile code here, let me just show you the decompile code. As, as you know, we are inlining function. So if you inline this return, it will align it in the main. So here, the first one, the second one, and then we are returning. Now, you won't be seeing the other thing because the compiler will eliminate this slice as part of optimizing thing. So it won't be here. But why we have this thing? Because we are doing this return here. So we're inlining the function, we are using the return here and it will stop the flow. That's one thing to, to remember about thing. Now, we, we are able to use this here because we are not using non line because if we are doing non line here, we can't be using that return. So we have to return to the function. Here. So it will return just to the local this lambda. That's one thing to remember also. So just to repeat it, if you didn't understand me, since we are returning here and we are inlining this lambda, it means that the return will be part of this main function. That's why it will stop here, exit. Just to make sure to understand this critical concept. So after we understand this concept of returns, which are called non-local returns, and how they can be pushed from this function when inlining them to the original calling function. Just make sure you are understanding this. Let's say I'm having another function called call. It will just call this app, just as simple as that. But we'll be calling this one from the end line. So we are, we'll be doing the following. I will call something. What will happen is that it won't compile. Why? Because some action here is end line. Okay, as you can see, the error here will be, will be the following. Can't end line some action here. It may contain long local return. So why Kotlin didn't allow that? Okay, to understand. So let me just pretend that I am the compiler of this one. And let's say that this is allowed. Okay, so what we can do is the following. I will just pretend that I'm a compiler. Let me just do something like that. And the decompiler will do the following. We will do that one. And we are calling this call action, but we are inlining it. So we'll be calling this call. So it will be like that. And since this one is inline, we will copy the body of it here. And as you can see, we can't do that return here, okay? Because it is not in line. So we do the following like that. And this is the usual output of that decompilation, okay? So Kotlin didn't allow us because there is this problem. This is non local return. We can't do that. In order to allow Kotlin to do that, let me just delete that. In order to inform Kotlin that I'm not having non local return, then you can use something called cross and line. And this will work perfect. All right, so even the compiler was warning us here, can't align some action here to make contain local returns, add cross inline modifier to parameter declaration some action. This will tell us that this will work. Now, if you add this cross inline, it will have a problem here, as you can see. It will have that problem. Return is not allowed here because we are using cross inline. So that's the main difference between inline, cross inline, and non inline. So, we can't prevent this one here. We can't prevent also by no inline like that. And it will work just perfectly. But as you can see, it will prompt an error. Expected performance impact from inlining is insignificant because you are trying to inline something non-alignable. Okay, I don't know if this word exists. So that's the idea about non-aligned versus cross-inline. So cross-inline will allow you to inline this body of this function why preventing you from using non lock returns? So, I hope you understand what is going on here from inline, cross inline, and non inline. So, as I said, inline will allow you to prevent the creation of the function object, which is just a simple extra object in the memory. So, we want to be doing that. So, it will copy the body of the function into the calling function. Just make sure you don't have large methods. And these large methods are called from everywhere. Just make sure that. The second one is non inline. Non inline will allow you to, let's say that you have an inline function and it contains two or three lambdas. So, with the non inline, it will allow you to customize which function will be aligned. And the cross inline, as you said here, the cross inline will allow you to prevent using non local returns in the lambdas here. So, just make sure you understand this concept. This was a long video. Thanks a lot for watching this video till the end. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and see you in the next videos. Salam alaikum.